weekend we've had. You know, this is my Monday, right? Even though it's Tuesday, it's my Monday. Are you ready to play a game of words? It is time to get the fam in on this fun journey. I'm feeling bubbly tonight because I'm in a bubble. Mm, a play on words. Hey, remember that. That'll help you. You know how to do it. You're going to spin that wheel. You're going to get a free letter or maybe you have a super spin. That's pretty cool. You're going to use the keyboard to tap the correct letters. If you tap a wrong one, you're going to get a strike. And three of those, you are out of the game, baby. But if you type fast, if you solve the puzzle, you're going to level up. That means more strikes, more points. You get to brag more, right? You're going to take home the bread. Well, look at that time. We are seconds away from tap dancing. That's what I like to call it when you solve really fast. Find some peace and quiet. I'll see you soon. Taco Tuesday, or do you just not want to talk about it? Oh, guess what we're up to tonight for the first game of season 14 on HQ Words. Oh, we are going to have a super fun time. You love them, you laugh at them, some of you hate them, but you're going to solve a bunch of them tonight. And by the end of this game, we're all going to feel like president of the dad joke club. Because dads love puns. Are you a dad? You probably love puns. And to take us on this ride, I am your host, dad of words tonight, Anna Roisman. You better find me right here. It's the best spot for us to tweet, drink, and be merry. So nice to tweet you, by the way. But remember, always remember, you are what you tweet. <laughs> I see you. I see all of you. Even you, Zen Silence. Hey, tonight I will show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of the road, you're going to take home some of the prize, which is $1,000. Ooh, you can tell people how it was kind of a money story. Right? Literally a money story, not a funny story. Also, you start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on season 14. And speak of the level, you're probably hoping to level up since it's a new season, right? You're probably down, down at the very beginning, at the beginning of the totem pole. You got to go up the ladder. But right now, it is time to spin that wheel around my face. I thought I'd give you a few of my favorite wheel puns, like, while we're here, but that'd be really predictable, right? Okay, here's the wheel. It's pretty cool owning some wheel estate, because I can relax, listen to songs like Make You Wheel My Love, watch The Wheel Housewives in New York City. Is this wheel enough yet for you? I mean it for wheel. <laughs> I sound like someone who just can't say her R's. Also, if you really feel like <laughs> feel like shopping, you could get an extra life or a super spin at that HQ shop. You better get one and check out what I've been talking about. It gives you extra love, not just what a regular wheel gives. But right now, it is time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you will earn. Remember, it is pun night. Okay, don't forget to have a I'm little pun while you solve the these puzzles. You saw those pushes. They're coming at you hard tonight. Here we go. Your first hint is farewell, young buffalo. Listen carefully. Type in the letters Y, E, and S. Yes, I just gave you three letters. And don't be bashful. Okay, if you have a daughter, you can say this too. But what is the American version of a buffalo? Okay, these are large animals who like to roam. I'm not a fan of it, but some people eat these in a burger. <laughs> Farewell, young buffalo. In other words, bye, son. <laughs> I told you I'm the dad. Bye, son. <laughs> goodbye. No, bye to like 8,000. I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. Woo, we got 28,853 who got it right. Bison, also bison. Get it? Bye, son. And you know what? If you were out, buy back into this game. It's a fun pun. It's a fun game. <laughs> so you want to come back in. Hey, guess what we're doing on Thursday night? I'm very excited for this. We have a very special game Thursday night. We are celebrating the Super Bowl early on HQ Words by having a game that is both half super and half bowl. Who will win? Some of the puzzles are going to be about the word super and the others are going to be about the word bowl. So literally <laughs> anything is possible. Okay. I don't know which team you're on. Team super, team bowl. I'm on Team Halftime Show. Ooh, hello. This is a great alternative title for someone who is a dog person like me. 
The hint is feline hesitation. Think about when you hesitate about something, okay? You may not act on it right away. Also, is anyone here not a dog person? Whew, you might be another kind of person. But these animals all have something in common. And it's not hands. Think about that. I'm not talking about hands, but I am talking about something with felines. Cats paws is the answer. Check this out. This is my favorite video of the night. Oh my goodness. So look at those little baby cat paws. I mean, honestly, I think I just turned into a cat person with that video. Cats paws. Hesitation paws. And also, come on, those cute little paws. 18,025. You got it right. You didn't pause at all. You just tapped away. You solved it. You get to move on to puzzle three. Some people roll their eyes at puns. Okay, I see you out there. I see the ones. <laughs> but I love them, especially when you're solving them fast. You're a corny racer tonight. <laughs> That's fun to call someone. A corny racer. That word has a few meaning meanings. Someone who races obviously is skilled. They can move fast. Also, maybe you're a fan of, I don't know, films with the dystopian science fiction kind of genre. If you are, maybe you are able to solve this puzzle faster than you think. Corny racer. And the answer is Maze Runner. Hey, remember this? Maze Runner. Oh, maze Runner. That's what I'm talking about. That's the Maze Runner. Honestly, you could title that movie Maze Runner or Maze Runner. He's cute. I'll, I'll watch it anyway. <laughs> 16,398. You got it, right? Maze Runner. You know what? I am amazed by how many of you are so good with words. But how about other subjects, okay? What do you know, trivia? Are you aware of ungulates? Ungulates? Oh. First off, these are something you may find on a farm, maybe at a zoo. Do you know them? And if you're aware of them, you probably know that they like to travel in groups. No one here is left alone. Aware of ungulates? This is like a question for question translation. Oh. The answer is, hey, uh, have you heard of goats? Heard of goats? Get it? A herd of goats is like a pack of goats, a group of goats. 13,138 heard of goats. Why, of course you did, because that's what you typed into your phone. All right, puzzle five. I hadn't heard, to be honest, I hadn't heard of the word ungulates until today. But I will say I have heard this sick pony sound. I mean, I don't mean sick like, you know, sick beats. I mean sick as in under the weather. This is a sound that a pony makes. But what's another word for pony? I kind of feel bad for them right now, honestly. I wish I could like, I wish I could just like <laughs> scream out the answer. But then I'm going to sound like this. The answer is horse neigh. A horse neigh. You know, a horse, H O R S E. And what is the sound they make? They neigh. But a horse neigh is like a. Uh, I don't even know. I just tried to make that sound. It was foul. 11,308. I'm saying it very hoarse. But you're moving on to the next puzzle. Okay, next up, wow, is something that actors yearn for every single day. Some are lucky to get a heaven sent starring role. Oh, when something is heaven sent, it is such a great thing. It's exactly what you want. This is something that everyone wants, though, actor or not, okay? If you're not a vegetarian, I bet you like this heaven sent starring role. I'm talking about something special, juicy. The answer is meteor part. Ooh, the meteor part. I want the meteor part of a wing, and I also want the meteor part, like, you know, that, uh, I don't know, that an Oscar winner might get. A meteor part. 8,475 got it right. That was a good one. And, of course, I'm going to ask you, if you like buffalo wings, we were talking, Gab and I were talking about this. What is the meteor part? What is the better part, the wing or the drumstick? Team wing, team drumstick. Let me know, because this is a very important question, especially this week, right before the Super Bowl. You know, you got to know what you like. Are you getting wings or are you getting drumsticks? I'm going to move on to puzzle seven. Oh, but people are saying wing. 
I said drumstick is the meatier part, but you're saying wing. Wow, it's messier. Wing is definitely messier, right? You got to split it up. It's all over your face. All right. You know what? Heaven sent a bunch of you. You're very meatier players, smart players here tonight. Hey, you're already halfway through the game. Woo! It's the halftime show. No, not yet. <laughs> Some half left the game. Others half leveled up. Ooh, get it? I can see how well you're doing because... I hired a well-dressed private eye. They're doing work for me. It's also your puzzle. They're very good at keeping track of things while being stylish, of course. Everything just seems to like fit really well. Well-dressed private eye. Think about what this job is. And if they're well-dressed, well then they're probably, uh, you know, using some sort of personal tailor. Ooh, personal tailor. Tailor being spelled with an E-R because they are tailing you. If they are a private eye, they are on your tail. Not a tailor with an O-R, which is someone who's able to uh, sew it together. 7,230. Got it right. Personal tailor. Hello. All right, I love to start this show with something fun. And if you were here on time, you probably heard tonight's opening line. Think about when something is kicking off, right? There's usually a signal for it. Also, there's sometimes a wait for things to start. You know, an organized line, but it's still a wait. I bet you've been in one of these. You have one of these. Opening line. And the answer is cue to begin. What is my cue to begin? Why, we have a countdown. That's your cue to begin. But this is a cue as in a waiting period. The cue, 4,173. Ooh, you got it. You got it. You, you, you look so cute. That was cue with a t. <laughs> that was my cue to begin puzzle nine. A puzzle so fine and very competitive. What is this super sports taunt? This has to do with a sport nobody cries in. If someone asks you this question, you can ignore it. Or you could just like fly away. Because some humans can fly, you know. I believe it. I've seen the movies. Super sports taunt. It's in quotation marks for a reason. The answer is, can you Batman? I bet he can. Check it out. He swings. Batman's done it. Say what you want about the Dark Knight, but today he truly is a Batman. Oh, snap. And here you thought he was just like a bat who can fly like a Batman. Uh-uh. He is a baseball king. And you know what that looks like. That is the first schooled puzzle of the night. Can you, Batman? You got schooled out of the puzzle. You're going to that away game tonight. Oh, 2,138 are moving on, though, because you can, Batman. You can. It's almost tax season, which means a lot of important things are just being mailed around. So make sure you're locking up documents. Don't let them get away. You're going to need them when you have to file them, okay? Maybe you maybe you keep them in a file cabinet or, or a desk for this sort of thing. If you think about it, they can't go anywhere if they're locked up. Locking up documents. The answer is keeping stationary, right? Keeping stationary as in very, very still because something's locked up and stationary, you know, like papers, like documents, 2,906 are keeping up with this stationary. No, you're keeping up with this puzzle. I would love to spend time. I mean, I always do this. I love to spend time on social media, just making soups. You might say it's as entertaining as this standard kitchen appliance. Mm, I'm looking for a standard of some kind has something to do with the kitchen. This is for all of the cooks and the music lovers out there. Standard kitchen appliance. Are you a fan of the stones? Because guess what? They covered this. It's a song. And the answer is Little Red Roaster. You might be familiar with this version of it though. I am the Little Red Rooster. Too late. 
Oh, it's a play on Little Red Rooster, but a Little Red Roaster is the proper term if you're going to roast something in the kitchen. 2,600 even got it right on Little Red Roaster. That was Mick Jagger. He was in a kitchen. He was roasting something. He wasn't. If you didn't get roasted out on that last one, congratulations. You're still so hot, and it is time for the final puzzle. Here we go, the grand finale of the big event the first game of HQ Word, season 14. This one's for some money. All right, the final hint is somewhere I'd like to go with you. To a musical bingo event. How fun does that sound? Whew, this happened to so many people this week. So it's something topical. Also, think about who loves bingo. Is she helping you with this game? Musical bingo event. Think about bingo. It's not something you really need to plan for. It's kind of like, do you have a good board? The answer, the final answer is surprise Grammy win. Ooh, surprise Grammy win as in grandma. She wins bingo a lot, right? But also there were a lot of surprise Grammy wins. And you know what? In the blink of an eyelash, 1,000 39 of you just won HQ Words. Wow, that was also a school puzzle on that last one. Woo, but 1,039 of you pulled through. You got it right. You were like, you know what? I got this pun game. I'm getting it. Ooh, and you're going home with 97 cents. That is almost a dollar. That rounds up to a dollar. That is beautiful. In first place, D. Thompson coming in hot in first place. In second place, we got our friend Chad 1M. Nice to see you there, Chad. And in third place, Keem Meister. Ooh, Keem Meister in third. I love it. You did it. That is the game for tonight, the pun game. Congrats to everyone. You solved it from the bottom. Now you're here, 97 cents later. It has been such a fun night, ready, getting extra wordy together. I mean, you are always my number pun group of players, okay? How healthy are we in this new year, in 2020? It kills me that we have to leave so soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is pun of the night. I have been your host, Anna Roisman. You can find me here on social media. We'll always have Paris. I'm talking about the Instagram filter. I'm still feeling punny. I will be all night. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will see you back here Thursday, where we will have our very own duel of a sports game, Super Words versus Bowl Words. It's going to get weird, and you know that's why I'm here for it. I love you so much, Word Nerds. Goodbye.